of founder of Tennis for the Kids and today you are going to learn about three rookie mistakes that you are making when using Python lists. So let's get started. Alright, first of all, you don't know how to create copies of lists with equal op or equals operator. So don't get me wrong with this, that uh, I'm saying you must be knowing this, but some most of the people, most people don't know this. So basically when copying lists with equals operator that's a big big mistake if you're not doing it uh, like not by mistake right you're doing it uh, because you need to do it right so what is happening over here we are creating an ori original list one two three and then we're doing new copy equals original so we think that new copy should be a copy of original right uh, but when we append something to new copy right so when we append something to new copy, it should only come in the new copy as it is a copy, right? It's uh, but it also comes in original. So when we print original, you can see that four has also come in original. How? We didn't append four to original, but how? The answer is that when we check uh, their memory location, so original memory location and new copies memory location are the same. So when using equal operator, it does not create a true copy, but instead it creates a reference to that list so we are right now creating a reference to the list and to create two copies we need to use the copy function so this is a very big rookie mistake so to actually copy we need to uh, first uh, like first we are creating original then we are creating a proper copy original dot copy so we need we need to use the copy function to copy the original uh, any list right and not the equals to function and uh, unless and until you're doing it deliberately deliberately uh, then you're doing proper copy dot append seven so now we have uh, appended this to our new copy so in original we'll get four five six only and in proper copy we'll get four five six seven because proper copy is not a reference to original so it is its own right that list exists on its own right proper copy exists on its own it's not a reference to original so when we add something it won't affect the original list so when i print the ids also then also i'll get different ids so as you can see it's 928 it's here it's 992 and i'm also getting different lists so pretty easy right pretty easy to understand so second mistake that you're making is changing list size size by light rating and i i was also the person who was made, making this mistake so basically now i understood what the actual mistake is so you see over here nums is equal to zero one two three four right and basically we need to remove all the numbers that start with t so we only want zero one and four in our list what's happening over here we're doing for num in nums, right? And then we're doing if num dot starts with t. So if it is starting with t, then remove num, right? So pretty simple, right? This should work easy. But why are we seeing three over here? Let me explain. We are removing from nums, right? On which we are iterating. So what's essentially happen happening? So we go in, we get the first number that is zero in nums uh, it does not start with t so it will go back up maybe get one one does not start with t so we go back up now we get two so now num two starts with t so it goes in the if statement it removes num so let's take it in indexing uh, on the in indexing perspective so when we are on zero uh, z we are on the zero then index when we are on one we are on the first index when we are on two we are on the second index right so now when we remove two three comes on the second index right it's not like there's something else over here three comes on the second index so now because the loop was already a loop had already performed the operation for the setting second index it ignores the second index and moves on to the third index that is four and ahead of that we don't have anything else left right so three is left as it uh, when two was removed it came on the second index and the loop had already done its operations for the second index so it moved on to the next index that was 
for four right so it does it did not check only on three right so basically this is a very very big problem and how can you solve it right so if uh, uh, so how basically can you solve it right it's the solution is pretty easy what you need to do you need to create a true copy of the nums and then i remove from the original nums but i create on the copy nums so you understand uh, you can understand like this create a create a copy of the original list and then you have to iterate on the copy of the list but remove from the original list so how is that helping we are creating a uh, copy nums copy right then we are looping on it so whenever we remove something uh, so basically first we are on the zeroth index we are on zero it does not go in the if statement so, uh, first index it does not go in the if, if statement second index when it's two it goes in the if statement and removes num from nums right so two is removed but it does not affect copy nums so it goes on the third index that is three in copy nums right third index in nums is four but in copy nums it is three so it checks for three now and when it finds three it removes that number from nums right so pretty simple working so now we'll get zero one and four very very cool okay so last is not using list comprehension and for this we can't run this on REPL we have to run this on IPython so I'll go to terminal right and I'll switch on IPython right so now we have to write a code on this so first of all let's write a code we'll just copy paste it as it is convenient command c command v right so this is our code i'll explain in a second uh, it's running most probably yep all right so basically let's understand this so what is the mistake that we are making the mistake is that we are not using list comprehension to create lists so how's that a mistake that's a that leads to performance issues how that leads to performance issues let's see so basically we are looping over here thousand times and appending two squares right pretty cool now when we time this what we get we get this so let's just take 30.4 some unit per loop so per loop it is taking 30.4 something and when we use list comprehension then see how much time it will take all right so uh so basically it is okay let's run that again yeah okay so you can see the difference so i don't know what happened here but uh, you can see the difference over here it took 30.4 something per loop over here it's taking 5.66 something per loop so you can see how much faster list comprehension is right so if you can use list comprehension um I, uh, instead of using normal for loops you should always always do it right so basically what's happening uh, every time you are basically taking some time to append it right but over here the value directly goes in the squares list so where you are doing some extra operations you are appending it so what happens you go in the list you append something it gets added to the squares uh, squares uh, list and then you go back in the loop right but over here it's happening that you are going uh, going in the loop you uh, get the value directly is in the list already 
right and then you are going back to the loop so list comprehension using list comprehension is much much more faster than using normal for loop so you should always use list comprehension when it's possible and this was it guys for the video i hope you guys like the video thank you and i'll see you in the next one